Hello, my friends. Nice to meet you again. Attention. How many natural number n exist, such that, 2 positive integers, 2 to the nth power minus 3, and 3 to the nth power minus 2, are not coprime? Why not give a try, and we will come back soon. To think about how many n there are, we might first simply check with a particular n, between 2 to the nth power minus 3, and 3 to the nth power minus 2, if there is an obvious common divisor, which is greater than 1. Start with n equal to 1. In this case, 2 to the nth power minus 3 is equal to minus 1, which is not positive, so we just skip it. When n equals 2, 2 to the nth power minus 3 equals to 1. 1 is coprime with any other positive number, so we just continue. n is equal to 3. 2 to the nth power minus 3 is equal to 5. And 3 to the nth power minus 2 is equal to 25. They have an obvious common divisor, which is 5. So they are not coprime. Next, n is equal to 4. 13. 79. Coprime. n is equal to 5. 29. 241. Coprime. n is equal to 6. 61. 727. Coprime. n is equal to 7. 125. 2185. And they have an obvious common divisor of 5 again. It seems that, there are some n that make these two numbers have a common divisor of 5. Let's continue. n is equal to 8 n is equal to 9 n is equal to 10 n equals 11 Sure. Starting from 3 Every time when n increases by 4 There is a pair of results that have a common divisor of 5. In fact, it is very easy to prove that there is a common divisor of 5, because we only need to prove that its digit at 1's place is 5 or 0. So now, let's prove that when n is in the form of 3 plus 4 times m, the digits at 1's place of 2 to the nth power minus 3, and 3 to the nth power minus 2 are both 5. First, let's look at 2 to the nth power minus 3, which equals to 2 to the 3rd power times 2 to the 4th power and then to the nth power, minus 3, which is 8 times 16 to the nth power minus 3. The digit of 16 at 1's place is 6, because 6 times 6, is 36. No matter how many times 16 is multiplied by itself the digit of the result at 1's place is still 6. Then multiplied by 8, the digit becomes 8. And then subtracted by 3, the digit becomes 5. So, in this situation, 2 to the nth power minus 3 must be divisible by 5. Next, let's look at 3 to the nth power minus 2. For the same reason, it is equal to 3 to the 3rd power, then multiplied by 3 to the 4th power and then to the nth power, and minus 2. That is, 27 times 81 to the nth power minus 2. The digit of 81 at 1's place is 1. So no matter how many 81 is multiplied by itself, the digit is still 1. Once multiplied by 27, the digit becomes 7. Subtracted by 2, the digit becomes 5 as well. So in this situation, 3 to the nth power minus 2 must also be divisible by 5. So how many n can make these two numbers not co-prime? The answer is infinitely many. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.